Hi everybody, I'm Katie Barvis and you are watching The Unemployed Graduate, the show where I talk to you about news and issues that matter to me and hopefully you guys too. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about cigarettes. Really, smoking's bad for you. Rockdus proposed a ban on selling cigarettes in restricted times as well as selling them within clubs and pubs. And then they also want to ban cigarettes in cars where children are present. Now we skip across the pond and we see what's happening over in the UK. They actually have plans on totally cutting out any branding on cigarettes. Now they've already done this in Australia and here's what it looks like in action. As you can see, it's all pretty dull and boring. That's the intention, isn't it? That's the, that's the intention, I think, yes. When you see it like that as a, as a display, it's quite confronting. So you prefer damages your gums and teeth to peripheral vascular disease? Sorry, you, you pick, which one would you like? <laughs> I, think I'll, I think I'll give it a pass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What statement does that make now? Well, it makes none. <laughs> it really does. And that, I think that's where, the, the, I think there's been change in how people are buying cigarettes anymore. It's certainly not about a brand. It's not about representing who you are. It's about class. And we're seeing a lot of movement uh, at the moment in um, consumers changing their brands. They're not buying those premium brands anymore because it means nothing to them anymore, unfortunately. So they're buying it based on class. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Have been pretty positive in Australia and the UK are hoping for similar results where people are just buying on the price and not the brand. Norway has the highest price for cigarettes, coming in at $11.84 per packet, while Belarus has the lowest price where you can walk into the market and get cigarettes for 92 cents. And Ireland comes in third in Europe with the third highest price. And if you want a pack of cigarettes here in Ireland, it costs $9.40. Now another big alternative is the electronic cigarettes. Now they do not contain tobacco or produce smoke, but use heat vaporized flavor, liquid nicotine. The risks are far less than normal cigarettes and have help millions of people kick the old-fashioned habit. But now countries are trying to ban these new age smokes. There are two major issues of why they want to ban these cigarettes. Firstly, there's fears that this could renormalize smoking conventional cigarettes, and this is especially impacting on children who are very impressionable. Many argue that they do not actually help you because they still have nicotine and that is a very addictive substance. The World Health Organization is under the view that the safety of the e-cigarettes has never been scientifically demonstrated, so the potential risks for health still remain undisclosed. However, there are countries already banning them, and this includes Singapore and Brazil, and some major cities in the U.S., including New York, Los Angeles, have already built block them in many public places. But now Wales could be the first in the UK to ban electronic cigarettes in enclosed public spaces. And also here in Ireland, the HSE plans on banning e-cigarettes from all campuses by 2015. And while the Rockdus and the government in the UK and Australia says that this can all have very positive impacts, some politicians are more concerned about the increase of illegal cigarette sales that it will have in these countries. So just this week we learned that in Ireland, one out of every four cigarette packets are sold illegally. So that means 25% of people are paying around four euro per packet of cigarettes. And this seems crazy, so I went out onto the streets to find a few smokers and see exactly who are buying these illegal cigarettes. I don't know, I didn't even know there, there were such things. I wouldn't know how to go about that. I've tried counterfeiting cigarettes and I just they don't agree with me. Okay, and no. where did you get them when you tried them? Yeah, just off a friend. I, don't know. I, I wouldn't know where to get them, like, where I would go. Yeah. I buy from Irish, from those bar forms. So it's very expensive, but um, sometimes I bring from my country, you know. Have you ever thought about doing it? Nope. No? Why? Um, I don't know. It seems a bit 
shifty? Because I don't like the taste of them and they're stronger than are my own cigarettes. Which brings us to the question of the day. What do you guys think? Have you ever bought illegal cigarettes in Ireland? And is it just more cost effective or do you have bigger moral and ethical issues surrounding illegal cigarettes? Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and of course subscribe to the channel. Until next week, I'm Katie Barbas, just another unemployed graduate.